Broke people will always live an average life, year after year, for 10 reasons, and 10 reasons only. By the end of this video, not only will I tell you exactly what's stopping you from living a life of abundance, but if you watch until the end, you'll see exactly why becoming rich and wealthy actually has nothing to do with money. But why do some people seem to effortlessly build wealth, while others remain stuck in the same financial rut year after year? In fact, it has much more to do with how they think, what they prioritize, and the small daily habits they live by. Now, if you've watched any of the videos on our channel, you'll know exactly why your financial habits play a huge role in how you live and where you end up in life. Are you curious to know what sets these two groups apart? In this video, we're going to break down 10 key habits that separate the rich from the poor. Some of these might surprise you, but once you start recognizing them in your own life, you'll be able to make the shifts necessary to move towards wealth. And if you're serious about improving your financial situation, Stick with me until the end because the last point might just change the way you see the world. Number 10. Distracting Media versus Productive Habits Let's start with how people spend their free time. Poor people are more likely to get caught up in distracting media, like binge-watching TV shows, scrolling through social media for hours, or playing video games. These activities, while fun, don't add anything of long-term value to your life. Rich people, on the other hand, often use their downtime for mentally restorative activities. They might read books, journal, or engage in hobbies that stimulate their minds and recharge them. When was the last time you picked up a book instead of reaching for the remote? These small choices over time make a massive difference. Now I've only revealed one powerful habit. I'm just getting started. What I'm about to share next will be the most important decision you'll have to make before you start living the life you imagined. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Number 9. Financial Comfort versus Financial Fear One of the biggest differences between the rich and the poor is their attitude toward risk. Rich people are more likely to take financial risks, not because they enjoy living dangerously, but because they have a safety net. They've built up enough financial security to make calculated risks without the fear of total ruin. This allows them to invest in new ventures, stocks, or even real estate. Poor people, understandably, are more risk-averse. Without that safety net, the idea of losing even a small amount of money can be terrifying. But here's the thing. Avoiding all risks means avoiding opportunities for growth. The key is learning how to take smart risks and building a cushion that allows you to do so. It's easy to assume that wealth is all about having a high-paying job or winning the lottery. But the truth is far more simplified. Wealth creation is often the result of mindset, daily habits, and the environment you cultivate. For the wealthy, building and maintaining their financial success is deeply tied to how they manage their time, their relationships, and their personal growth. On the other hand, many people who struggle financially find themselves caught in habits that unknowingly keep them in the same place. Number 8. Narrow Knowledge versus Deep Understanding Where do you get your information from? Poor people often rely on narrow sources, like social media or television, which don't always offer depth or accuracy. On the flip side, rich people seek out knowledge from books, journals, and other in-depth sources. They go beyond the headlines and look for real insights that can inform their decisions. For example, while a Facebook or social media post might give you a surface-level understanding of the stock market, reading an inspirational book on investing will give you the tools to actually succeed in it. Knowledge is power, and the wealthy know how to invest in it. Number 7. Careless Spending versus Mindful Money Management have you ever wondered where all your money went at the end of the month? Poor people tend to be less mindful about their spending, often losing track of where their money is going, whether it's small daily purchases or subscriptions they don't use. These seemingly minor expenses add up over time. On the other hand, rich people track their finances meticulously. They know exactly how much they're spending, where they're investing, and how to avoid unnecessary debt. They maximize their returns by paying close attention to their money. Want to start building wealth? Start by keeping a closer eye on your spending habits. Number 6. Prioritizing Self-Improvement One of the biggest challenges for many is finding the time for self-improvement. Poor people often feel they don't have time to invest in themselves, whether it's learning a new skill, reading a book, or working on a side hustle, because their schedules are too packed with immediate tasks. Rich people make self-improvement a priority. They structure their routines to carve out time, even if it's just an hour a day for personal growth. They understand that the more they invest in themselves, the greater their ability to succeed. The question isn't, do I have time? It's how do I make time? Number 5. Hourly Value versus Task Accomplishment 
Many people measure productivity by the number of hours they work. Poor people often equate success with hours logged, believing that the more time they spend working, the more productive they are. But rich people focus on tasks accomplished rather than hours spent. They know that working smart is far more important than working hard. It's about getting the right things done efficiently, not just grinding for the sake of it. This approach allows them to be more productive in less time, leaving room for further opportunities and personal growth. Number four, time mismanagement versus future planning. How do you manage your time? Poor people often waste time, whether it's on distractions or doing things that don't move them closer to their goals. They might regret the wasted time later, but by then it's too late. Rich people, in contrast, plan their time carefully. They use strategies to optimize their day and constantly think about how their actions today will impact their future. Time is one resource we all have the same amount of, and the wealthy know how to make the most of it. Number three, good intentions versus strict habits. Motivation is fleeting and relying on it alone can lead to inconsistency. Poor people often rely on willpower, thinking that good intentions will be enough to reach their goals. But rich people understand that success comes from building strict habits and routines. They don't depend on feeling motivated every day. Instead, they create systems that allow them to stay consistent even when they don't feel like it. Discipline beats motivation every time. If you want to create lasting success, build habits that support your goals and make them non-negotiable. Number two, working for a paycheck versus pursuing passion. Many people are stuck working jobs they don't enjoy simply to pay bills. Poor people often work for a paycheck, viewing their job as a means to an end. But rich people pursue careers that inspire them, allowing them to find meaning and fulfillment in their work. When you're passionate about what you do, work doesn't feel like a chore. It feels like a mission. This doesn't mean you have to quit your job and chase a dream today, but it does mean finding ways to bring more purpose to your work can lead to greater success in the long run. Now, after all of the money habits you learned to this point, if you don't understand this next concept, then everything you've learned in this video will be a complete waste of time. So take note of this next step. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Number one, poor company versus wealthy connections. Now let's talk about who you surround yourself with. Poor people often associate with others who share their habits and attitudes toward money. While these relationships can be comforting, they often display behaviors that keep them stuck. Rich people, however, surround themselves with others who are wealthy or success-driven. They network with people who provide access to new opportunities, ideas, and resources. The old saying is true. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to level up, it's time to upgrade your circle. Those were the 10 key differences between the habits of the rich and the poor. It's not just about money. It's about mindset, discipline, and daily choices. Which habits do you see in your own life? And more importantly, which ones are you willing to change? Changing your habits is only the first step. In fact, we've created an entire video that explains step-by-step step how you can easily build wealth in less than two years. Just click the video on the screen to find out how. We'll see you in the next one.